In the demanding world of finance, generative AI tools like ChatGPT give professionals the ability to work smarter, save time, and make better decisions. In this video, I'm going to highlight five of the top use cases for generative AI in investment finance. Use case number one is text summarization. Information overload can be a real problem for finance professionals. We're constantly inundated with data, much of it in text format. This makes text summarization one of the most practical use cases of generative AI. You can extract key information and insights out of documents without having to read through endless pages of text. Large language models can summarize anything from earnings call transcripts to research or industry reports, articles, compliance and regulatory updates, presentations, and even entire books. If I wanted to summarize Microsoft's 10,000 word quarterly earnings call transcript, I could paste it into my ChatGPT Plus terminal and just give it the simple command, summarize this. Even a simple prompt can sometimes generate reasonably good results. But even a little investment into some prompt engineering can produce far higher quality outputs. This prompt provides ChatGPT with a persona it specifies the different types of financial information that we're mostly interested in, and it provides instructions on how to format the output. This results in a higher quality summary with more detailed information and more consistency. Use case number two is document Q&A. This is also sometimes referred to as chatting with data or chatting with documents. Here you can build a knowledge base containing multiple documents on a particular topic or for a particular purpose, and then use generative AI to interact with that data in natural language. Google's new Notebook LM allows you to build a knowledge base containing up to 50 documents with a maximum of 500,000 words per document. These include PDF, text and word documents, PowerPoint presentations, and even web pages and YouTube videos. The applications here are wide ranging. If I'm researching a company, I can upload the recent financial report, add links to recent news releases, and upload a PowerPoint of the corporate presentation. Now I have all this data in my notebook and I can ask questions and receive answers with sources. I can also create a summary brief and even an audio podcast. Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do a deep dive on Fortinet and how they performed in Q3 of 2024. Use case number three is data analysis. ChatGPT's advanced data analysis can handle everything from basic data exploration to creating visualizations to more advanced forecasting and modeling. Advanced data analysis is a feature that ChatGPT uses when it needs to handle more complex mathematical calculations or data analysis. ChatGPT itself doesn't perform this analysis, but what it does is generates Python code based on the user's input, which is then executed to provide the desired output. Here I have some time series data in a CSV file. I'll upload the file and ask ChatGPT to analyze the data set and provide an overview, including key features, patterns, and important statistics. I can ask follow-up questions, and I can get ChatGPT's help to build a forecasting model for this data set. Use case number four is report generation. You've done your research and your analysis, and now it's time to package it all up into a well-written and polished report. Generative AI has you covered here as well, and can automate a significant portion of the report generation process, saving you countless hours. The key to converting your research into a high quality report is being specific and clear about your requirements inside of the prompt. You can specify the level of detail and length of the report, explicitly outline the sections, supply all of the necessary data and research, indicate the desired tone and format, and even incorporate examples and templates to make sure that the outputs have a consistent structure. I created a prompt that provides a persona as a buy-side research analyst and an instruction to distill the provided research notes on a company into an investment research report. The prompt specifies the report sections and the output format. 
I can paste this prompt into ChatGPT and then paste in my notes on the company. I'll submit, and then in a matter of seconds, all of these notes are organized into a well-structured, well-written report. Use case number five is professional development. Generative AI can be an extremely powerful tool for continued learning, skill development, and exam preparation. Gen AI assistants like ChatGPT and Claude can act like interactive tutors. They can create custom learning plans, explain difficult concepts in simple terms, and summarize learning materials. For example, I may be interested in learning more about blockchain and cryptocurrency. For this task, I'm going to use Claude AI, which has a very useful feature. I'll start off by asking Claude to create me a seven day lesson plan. I can modify this lesson plan if I want, but I'm going to ask Claude to generate the content for the first section of the first day. Now I have my first lesson, which I can continue to modify. I can ask Claude to simplify anything that's too complex or go further into depth on particular topics. All of this can be done in ChatGPT as well, but the unique thing about Claude is that we can create an app with a simple prompt that will allow us to test our understanding of this content. I'll provide a simple prompt to ask Claude to create a 10 question multiple choice quiz. Claude writes the code to create the quiz and now I'm able to interact with it inside of a nice user interface. No coding required. And of course, I can continue to experiment building custom learning content on a wide range of subjects, creating other apps to support the learning and adjusting the difficulty and depth of the content. And those are five top use cases of generative AI for finance. This is by no means an exhaustive list and really just scratches the surface of what's possible. If you want to see more videos on generative AI for finance and investing, then like this video and subscribe. I'll be coming out with lots more content in the future. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.